السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Consolation and its impact on strengthening social ties and relationships. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in His ever glorious book, and do good so that you may succeed. And said a kind word and forgiveness is better than a charitable deed, followed by hurtful words. Allah is self-sufficient for bearing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. One of the noble human values is to console others. It is a lofty Islamic value that indicates one's nobility and sympathy. It is also one of the meanings of Allah's name, Al-Jabbar. As He, the Almighty, consoles His servants and comforts them, the Almighty Allah said, He is Allah, there is no God other than Him, the controller, the, controller, the Holy One, source of peace, grantor of security, guardian over all, the Almighty, the most consoler. He, glory be to Him, supports the poor with wealth, the sick with health, and turns fear into tranquility. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to ask Allah, saying, O oh Allah, pardon me, have mercy on me, guide me, provide me with comfort, and grant me sustenance. When contemplating the glorious Qur'an, one finds that the Almighty Allah consoles His servants, relieves their pains, and pleases them. In the story of the mother of the Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, when she felt sorrowful for losing her son, Allah brought him back to her comfort, to comfort her. As he, glory be to him, said, We restored him to his mother in this way, so that she might be comforted, not grieve, and know that Allah's promise is true, though most of them do not know. When our Prophet, peace be upon him, was forced to leave his homeland, Mecca, Allah consoled him through relieving to him his saying, He who has made the Qur'an binding on you, Prophet, will bring you back home to Mecca again. The Prophet, peace be upon him, gives us the greatest example of consolation when the poor immigrants came to him and said, O Messenger of Allah, the rich have taken away all the reward. They observe salah, prayers, as we do, and give sadaqah, charity, out of their surplus wealth. Upon this, he, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Has Allah not prescribed for you a course? following which you can also give charity in every declaration of the glorification of Allah, saying, SubhanAllah, there is a charity. And in every takbir, saying, Allahu Akbar, is a charity. And in every celebration of praise, saying, is charity. And in every declaration that He is one, La ilaha illallah, is a charity. And in joining of good is charity. And in forbidding evil is charity. Abdullah ibn Abi Awfami, Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, would not refrain from walking with a widow or poor person to fulfill their needs. Also, when our Prophet, peace be upon him, met Jabir ibn Abdullah after the martyrdom of his father, who left for Jabir younger sisters to care about uh, and debts to pay off. The Prophet wanted to comfort Jabir. He told him, O oh Jabir, shall I not tell you what Allah said to your father? Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind a screen. But he spoke to your father face to face and said, O oh my slave, ask me and I shall give you. He said, O oh my Lord, bring me back to life so that I may be killed for your sake a second time. He said, I have already decreed that they will not return to the world after death. Also, when Ja'far ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, martyred, the Prophet, peace be upon him, consoled his family and said, Prepare food for Ja'far's family, for they have heard something which takes up their whole attention. 
All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that comforting and consoling others has a great impact on strengthening social ties and relationships, softening hearts, and uniting people together. It plays a great role in promoting sincere fraternity and true solidarity in the whole society. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The believers in their mutual kindness, the believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, The relationship of the believer with another believer is like the bricks of a building. Each strengthens strengthen the other. In another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who removes from a believer one of his difficulties of this world, Allah will remove one of his troubles on the day of resurrection. And he who finds relief for a hard-pressed person, Allah will make things easy for him on the day of resurrection. He who covers up the faults and sins of a Muslim, Allah will cover up his faults and sins in this world and in the hereafter. Allah supports his slave as long as the slave is supported supportive of his brother. It is worth mentioning that we are in a blessed, blessed days in which we are encouraged to help others and console them and achieve social solidarity. There is a great trait and we all need it because the reward from Allah shall be as good as our acts. The Almighty Allah said, shall the reward of good be anything but good? O oh Allah, console us be our guardian and forgive us. O oh Allah, protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world.